Good morning, afternoon, evening, fellow privateers. <clears throat> this is the week ahead outlook from Privateer FX. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to try to keep this one a little bit shorter than last week. Uh, news out over the weekend. We're going to start with currencies today. News out over the weekend. Haldane talking negative rates, more QE, blah, blah, blah. Bearish sterling. We have been playing um, sterling. Uh, versus all the crosses from the short side for the past couple of weeks, and uh, it's you know it's working working pretty well. Um, I didn't really know what the catalyst was. Is it Brexit talk delays? You know, it doesn't really matter. You know, once we see price um, start trading heavy, um, it started with Sterling Aussie, and then it kind of filtered into all the Sterling crosses over the past five days. So um, this still looks lower. Um, you know, they're selling it here right on the open. I'm recording this uh, two and a half hours before the CME open. So it is Auckland time right now. Auckland open, New Zealand open. But, uh, so not really not a time to be trading. I mean, prices are euro dollar, for example, is 25 pips wide or so. Anyhow, uh, cable. So cable, we expect cable to get down. I, th I, I think before you get any sort of bounce down on this 120 level. Um, ultimately, I'd like to see closer to 119. Um, so that is uh, sterling, euro. Um, I don't know what this line, this is an old line. So let's get rid of it. Sometimes I use different charts each week when I should probably stay consistent. But there is a huge trend line that comes in uh, multi-year, multi but you can even just go back to the March 23rd low, which I like to use. That was the, the low that the equities bottom. If you're, if you're looking at charts, um, since I, everything was correlated, you know, 100% correlated there at the lows in S&Ps, um, it's a good time, it's a good area, you know, where you can draw your trend lines or if you're looking for Fibonacci swings. So you can see, we keep testing this line. We haven't broken it, we haven't closed below it. Um, I think we will, and when we do, we will go out and take out that March low. Um, so that's zero, dollar yen, uh, what's that done? It, you know, it rallied a little bit early in the week and then kind of faded, there's really no energy there. Um, dollar max was selling off on a break of this trend line. Then we popped back above it, closed above it for two days, back below it. Uh, it looks kind of sideways to me, unless we take out last, last week's lows. Um, what else do you guys look at? Dollar CAD, dollar CAD, not doing anything. This was our big level. We were playing dollar CAD from the short side, didn't work. Um, in and out, it looks like it, uh, it is a little bit of sideways action. But my guess is if we start trading over this 41.25 area, where these little dots are, you know, we can we can trade higher. Um, let's go to S&Ps. We turned bearish last week. Um, let's take a look at the weekly. It did close down on the week, you know, well off the lows. Got down to 27.70, um, but it you know it, it did take back two thirds of last week's gains, and we're still we still like selling rallies. We're you know we'll become bullish again, kind of in this 26, 26.50 area, where I think that'd be a good dip to buy. Um, Nasdaq you know reversal lower week as well, but well off the lows. Um, still like trying to play that from the short side. And then let's go to metals because we've had some good moves. Here's the weekly. Um, we have now made a new high weekly close for this whole move. Um, you know, we closed near the highs of last week. And, you know, our targets are still kind of 1900 to 2000. Pretty quick, like, actually. And silver is even performing better. Um, 
although we're still off those um, the March highs and the highs that we saw back in September, but we think silver and the gold silver ratio has rolled over. So gold is weakening versus silver and silver is a much less liquid um, metal to play. You know, to me, I think that would be the, the way to play it. If you want to be long of silver, I think you could you could sell some, you know, as kind of a hedge, you could sell some gold against it because gold seems to be, um, you know, more popular and, and, and known by the central banks and retail trades more in, in gold than they do silver. So silver could catch up pretty aggressively. Um, so we think that uh, there's no, no reason why we can't easily get back to these Fed highs, of, um, you know, close to $19. Um, all right, that should do it. I told you I wanted to keep it short and sweet. It's only five minutes. I'll get this out and good luck trading. And we will speak to you on the European Open. All the best.